Tangos flamenco, not to be confused with the Argentinian tango, is one of the more accessible palos or rhythms in flamenco for the beginner guitarist. So in this part one of this video series, I'd like to show you how to play your basic foundational tangos compas, the rhythm of tangos. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. David Cheriboga here with your Spanish guitar tutorial of the week. All right, before we check out the variations on the guitar, let's check out how the palmas go. Now it's in 4-4, four, four, four beats per measure, which is a little bit more accessible to our ears coming from popular music or from the Western world. And especially in comparison to other flamenco rhythms, which we'll find in 12 beat patterns, it's not as complicated. Now take a good listen and pay attention to where you hear silence or where you hear a little bit more of an accent so that you can apply that to the guitar playing. One, two, three, four. You'll notice that the first beat is silent most of the time and that there's a little bit more stress or accent on the two and the four, which you'll see coming up in these guitar variations. The two chords that we're gonna be using today for this foundational compas is this variation of B flat. And this A. All right, for these three variations, we're always gonna start off with a golpe or a light tap. So we could either do this as a fleshy tap using the middle and the ring finger, or we could do a little bit of a light nail tap just using the ring finger. I'm gonna go with the fleshy tap most of the time, just very subtle, it doesn't have to be too strong or overpowering. All right, variation number one. This variation, we're gonna keep it very simple and just start off with the index doing the strumming. Each one of these compas variations is going to be a four measure cycle. So we have one, a two, a three, a four, one, a two, a three, a four, and one, a two, a three, a four, one, and two, three, four. That last part is one and two, triple it, three. Just remember to give a slight accent to the two and four with the three just a little bit lower in volume. Variation number two. Now for this variation, we're gonna be using the rasguiado that is very typically used for tangos and it's my go-to rasguiado for tangos. We're gonna use the first and the ring finger, the two finger rasguiado. <laughs> So it's gonna go golpe and a two and a three and four and one and a two and a three and four and and a two and a three and four and one two three four again just make sure that for the one two three four and the last compas this is coming in on the upbeat of the two and the finger upstroke would be the third beat. So it'd be one and two and the and and then three, four. If you're finding this lesson helpful, please let me know in the comments as I love to know. And if you have any trouble with the lesson just as well, let me know, I'd love to answer your questions. Okay, variation number three. It's gonna look just like this last one, except that we're gonna add in some bass note variants. So we have measure one, one, and a two, and a three, and four, and one, two, Now if it throws you off to have the two silent, we can throw down a downbeat just to help you keep time for right now. So we can do something like this. One and two, three. 
Except to be honest with you, it complicates it a little bit more because it just makes it harder to throw in another downstroke right before you have to throw in that other rasgueado. So if you can just get used to tapping your foot and really feeling the downbeat, then that makes it a little bit easier. So for the third variation, we have these two bass note variations, which is just doing The second time around, we can throw in this other one. Just keep in mind that none of this is set in stone. So if you like one bass note variation more than the other, you can repeat that one or you could eliminate the other one. I just like to throw them both in together on this third compas variation so that you can have something to remember it by. All right, I'm gonna play all three variations for you in time so that you can have a reference point. Well, there you have it, your basic tangos compas breakdown. I hope it helped you out and that you were able to assimilate it, and most importantly, that you're able to play it. So stay tuned for more videos in this series, and if you don't want to miss out, make sure you click the notification bell and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, keep practicing, keep patient, and remember to enjoy the journey.